Now, a lot of people are saying that there is a stamp on the soap um, and that if the stamp is not visible on the soap, that the soap is fake. This is inaccurate information because actually Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. In my last Koji-san video, I explained why I stopped using the Kojic Acid Koji-san soap. And this video generated so many comments that I felt compelled to make another video showing what I understand to be the real versus the fake Kojic Acid Koji-san soap. Now, I made reference to the Koji San USA website in one of my Kojic Acid videos, and I will do so again today to um, give actual um, legitimate information on the product. Also, I will be referencing the YouTube video entitled Koji San Soap. Sure Signs of Fake and Authentic Soap by Ironwood Industries. They claim to be the official online retailer for the Koji Sand Soap in the US. Okay, so let's get started. So the Koji San USA website is um, kojisanusa.com. So I'm going to click on Kojic Acid Soap, and the page that opens up is a buy page which features different um, sizes of the soap and different packaging, different amounts, different quantities that you can buy directly from the Koji San USA website. So I'm scrolling down to the bottom and I am clicking on Why Koji San. So that page lists details of the product. Um, it references uh, the approved distributors list to ensure that customers are getting the official authentic product, but it does not give the link to the distributors. So I have no idea where I can find this distributor list. Um, scrolling, scrolling. Scrolling, it says the only scrolling, scrolling. I'm just scrolling through because a lot of the information on that page is already um, referenced in my video. So I will link my video here so that you could see what I'm talking about. I would like to say though that in my video, when I used the Koji San soap, I let the lather sit on my face for up to three minutes. The website states that you should lather the soap and apply to the treatment areas and leave the soap on for up to 30 seconds. So I did leave it on for longer than the recommended time. Um, it also says apply once per day and increase to twice a day if well tolerated and if dryness occurs follow with a moisturizing cream so i did use a moisturizing cream afterward and i did use the soap sometimes twice a day in the morning and in the evening but as i said i did leave it on for up to three minutes um i am not sure if that decreases the effects of the soap I would expect that it increases the effectiveness of the soap. But again, it is always wise to follow the manufacturer's um, instructions for product use because they made the product, they know what's in it, and they know why they're stipulating that it should be left on for a particular amount of time. So in hindsight, and it is my recommendation, that once you're using a product, any product, it is best to follow the instructions on the box. So the soap comes in different sizes and different packaging quantities. 
The first is a single bar, which is 135 grams. Then there are packages of two bars, which is the one that I bought. The second is this two bar box. Um, each bar is 65 grams. Then there are two bars of 135 grams each. There are three bars of 100 grams each and three bars of 65 grams each. The authentic soaps have a shiny packaging as this one does. I'm moving it around so you can see how the light reflects off of the surface of the box. It is a shiny surface. And all the text all around the box is uniformed. So this one does fit that description. Secondly, it says there is a batch number, manufacture date, and expiration date stamped in the packaging. Um, make sure these dates are not printed but stamped on. So there is a batch number, manufacturing date, and expiration date on the box. So the date of manufacture is 5-11-2018 and the date of expiry is 5-11-2020, two years apart. Which takes me to the next point, that the expiration date is two years after the manufacturing date. So this is another check point on this product. Okay. They also note that you can call or email Kojistan to verify the authenticity of the batch number. Now, a lot of people are saying that there is a stamp on the soap um, and that if the stamp is not visible on the soap, that the soap is fake. This is inaccurate information because actually the stamp is only printed on the 135 gram bar. This um, is the two bar 65 gram each package. And as you can see, it is individually wrapped. They are individually wrapped and they do not contain this Kojic stamp. So to reiterate, only the 135 gram bar of the soap contains a Kojic stamp in the middle. Another test for the authentic Koji sand soap is that even when you buy the product in bulk, each soap is individually wrapped and each soap contains packaging with the label Koji San Lightning Soap all over. So the packaging, the labeling should be there on each bar. As well, the authentic soap is a bright orange color and it is opaque and not translucent. Translucent means that it is see-through. So if you look here, the soap is not transparent at all. Okay. Now this is the final box from the three pack that I originally got. This is the only one I have left. I have not yet used because I decided to stop using the soap since it did not work for me. However, I can testify that 
when the soap is lathered, it does produce an orange lather and that the soap um, melts very quickly when it comes into contact with water. So I kept it in a Ziploc bag. I will upload the link to that video there so you can check it out and see what I'm saying. I kept it in a Ziploc bag because it does, um, I want to say shed. It does become very soft once it gets into contact with water. And the liquid in there is also a bright orange color, not white at all. So, yeah. I have seen some videos where people testify that the original soap should be more on the yellow side. This is, um, these bars are orange. They're not yellow. They are not the brightest orange. There is a slightly yellow tint to the soap, but it is not at all yellow. Now, you could verify with the Koji San USA website that um, each bar, in fact, let me read it directly from the website. Koji San color and scent can vary from batch to batch because it is made with natural extracts which vary seasonally. This soap also has a citrus fragrance. Um, it's like a fresh orange scent. Nothing about it smells artificial. It smells um, citrusy. Okay, so my final thoughts on this product are that one, I believe I purchased the authentic product because when I compare what the authentic product is supposed to look like and smell like and feel like um, to what I have, it seems to fit the bill. Also, every product does not work for everyone because our skin types are different, um, our diet is different, and so on. So there are a lot of factors. Um, there are a lot of factors which explain why one product would work for one person and not work for someone else. I have tried it out. I stopped using it and then tried it again and it worked only for a short while and did not work um, long term. Now I do admit that I kept the product on for longer than the stipulated time. It is supposed to be kept on for up to 30 seconds and I kept it on for up to three minutes. That might have something to do with why it did not, did not continue to work for me. Um, so I acknowledge that. However, maybe somewhere down the line, I could try using the product again to see if having given my skin a break, if it can work for me. Also, I will try purchasing the item directly from the Koji San USA website to see if it makes any difference. And um, that would be the... the uh, uh, that would be the ultimate test of authenticity because if that product works on my skin then that would be a sure way to um, prove that the one that I got is not genuine. So somewhere down the line I will try it again and I will film the pro progress again so that you can see um, what really is happening. Apparently people have gotten so good at creating fake products that you really cannot tell if the one that you have is a genuine thing. So I'm prepared to wager that maybe I don't have the genuine product, although a lot of the tests seem to check off um, the list of what is authentic. Yes, so these are my final thoughts on the product. I um, have no qualms with the persons who testify that it worked for them. There are products that work for some people and don't work for other people. That is totally legitimate and true and whatever. But it did not work for me, at least not this, this one, this batch. Um, it could be that the batch was faulty. It could be that I did not use it um, well. 
there are a number of factors involved but like i said i will purchase again this time directly from the website i will link it below and um i will try it again maybe in a few months time this video is not sponsored these everything i have said um all of my opinions in this video are my own i was not paid or granted any commissions for sharing my opinions on this product thank you for viewing thank you for commenting and thank you for your level of engagement with me on this video see you again